Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make an easy, no-bake cheesecake. Light and fluffy filling with a tasty graham cracker crust. This recipe is so simple to whip up. To start, we need to get our crust ready. To do that, we need to crush up our graham crackers. We can do that in a food processor, or you can use a Ziploc baggie and crush them up in that. Either method works great, I'm using a food processor, and you need about 15 to 16 of these graham crackers, which is gonna give us two cups of crumbs. Make sure that those crumbs are nice and small. To our graham cracker crumbs, we're gonna add in one half a cup of melted salted butter and one fourth a cup of white granulated sugar. Blend that mixture together until it's well combined. I'm going to be using a spring form pan for this recipe, but you could also use a pie plate or a nine by nine baking pan. Take those prepared graham cracker crumbs and put them in the bottom of your pan. Then using your hand or the bottom side of a cup, you're gonna go ahead and press those crumbs down into the bottom of that pan. And you need to do that firmly so that they stick together. Pop that into the fridge and let's work on the filling. For the filling, we start that by adding two tablespoons of cold water into a small bowl and then sprinkle one and a half teaspoons of unflavored gelatin into that. We're gonna let this gelatin bloom in there, so go ahead and set that aside. And let's make the whipped cream by adding two thirds a cup of heavy cream to a bowl, along with a fourth a cup of powdered sugar. Whip that together until you achieve stiff peaks. That took me about three minutes. Set that aside and in a larger mixing bowl, add in 16 ounces of softened cream cheese. Add in 3 fourths a cup of powdered sugar and blend that until it's light and fluffy, which is about two to three minutes. Then add in a fourth a cup of sour cream, which gives that a slight tang, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then give that another thorough blending for about one minute. Now back to that gelatin. It's just been sitting here getting ignored, but it's an important part of this recipe. It's completely solidified up, so what we're gonna do is pop it in the microwave for 15 seconds until it has liquefied, and then you're going to pour that into the mixture as you blend it. Mix that until it's well combined, add in that whipped cream to the cream cheese mixture, and fold those together until they're perfectly blended. At this point, you have a perfectly simple no-bake cheesecake filling. If you wanted to add any delicious additions, we have some tips and tricks about that over on our website. Now all we have left to do is simply add that cream cheese mixture to the crust. The way I like to do this is add little dollops around the bottom of the crust, then play connect the dots, and we do this so that you don't put a big blob in the middle and the crust pulls up. Then simply smooth that out. I'm gonna cover that up and pop that into our fridge where it's going to firm up and bond with that crust. A minimum of four hours is what I recommend and overnight is even better. Once it has set, eat it plain as it is or top it with whatever you like and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.